Omnath has taken over Standard. But what about Pioneer? The most logical home for Omnath is a Nib Delight deck. It looks like a random pile of cards, but it's actually very simple. The deck ramps into Bring the Light, which costs one mana of each color, which allows us to search for a card with converted mana cost five or less and play it, which means we can search for and play Niv Mizzet. When it enters, we reveal the top 10 cards of our library, choose one card of each color pair, and put them into our hand, which is why the rest of the deck is packed with multicolor cards. Ideally, Nib will find another Bring the Light, which then on the following turn, we can search for and play our devastation. It deals five damage to all creatures and planeswalkers, and because Nib has a toughness of six, Nib will survive the wipe. That's basically the go-to plan every game. Everything else is trying to hit every color combination, so as long as it runs multicolored cards, the deck is actually pretty flexible. And that brings us to Omnath. If we did put Omnath in this deck, how would we utilize this landfall ability? The only way to play two lands in one turn is with Fable Passage or Uro, but otherwise it's there to gain us four life whenever we play a land, and that alone is certainly not groundbreaking. And the other thing to keep in mind is that Niv can only find cards that are two colors. So in other words, Niv cannot find Omnath, which means having Omnath in the deck would weaken Niv a tiny bit. And so that brings us to the question, how do we justify adding Omnath to this deck? And that brings us to Daddy's newest creation. For the most part, it is still a typical Nib Delight deck, but now we have a very strong emphasis on elementals, with four Voice of Resurgence and four Risen Reef. Whenever Risen Reef or another elemental enters, we either draw a card or play a land from the top of our library. In other words, if we first play Risen Reef and then Omnath, we could immediately hit a land and make the best of Omnath's landfall ability. Now we do lose Uro for Risen Reef, but I really don't feel like we're losing much. Compared to most decks that run Uro, Nib doesn't put that many cards in the graveyard, so reanimating Uro from graveyard just doesn't really happen that much in this deck, especially when we need double green and double blue and a five color deck. And if we are going to pull this deck off, now seems like the right time to do it, because there are quite a few instances speed decks in the meta game, and the extra voices are really good in that matchup. As for a few other changes, we have Escape to the Wilds. It's a very good value, and I can play an additional land. I also swap one Dreadbore for Cut to Ribbons. It deals four damage to a creature, and then from Graveyard, we can drain our opponent for X. Because Omnath can make mana, Ribbons can easily win us the game. And lastly, because we don't have Uro, we have Kunaros for Graveyard Heat and Life Gain. But now on the sideboard, we have more Graveyard Heat, Creature Heat, Counter Heat, Combo Heat, and Removal Heat. That is the deck. Now let's get to the gameplay. And because I'm very eager to find out just how good this deck is, we are doing things differently today. We'll be testing it out in a Challenge Tournament, which is the most competitive weekly tournament. And now here we go. Oh, Opening hand, two land heavy, so we're gonna mull. Meh. We'll keep. And we mono black. Opponent plays scrounger. And we shall play voice. Opponent will be swinging. Trade, I suppose. And opponent plays spawn. Ooh, that good. Play the hound and pass. Let's see if they have removal for it. Thought seize. Taking away escape. But then they'd be passing. All right, voice. Try them. And pass back. Now opponent be passing. Ooh, Teferi. Okay. Play scary Teferi. Bounce. Opponent draws in response. And Nahiri. Not bad. Swing with the team. And pass back. Oh, opponent kills our hound. Play spawn. Oh, fatal passage. Oh. Play Nahiri. Exile. And let's see if they'll finish off Nahiri. Oh, no, they're passing. Risen Reef. Play play it. Oh, and it's Omnath. Might as well play it. Will we hit a land? No. There's a land. We shall have Nahiri. Fail pass. It's not bad. And pass it back. Oh, opponent pushes. And another voice. Well, play it. Land cool. Which means with this fetch, that'll be four damage to them and there's a concede. So we're going to game two. Going into game two. Let's dump this for this and without. Let's go to game two. Opening hand. No red mana. That's not good. But I guess we'll try it. Meh. And they discard. Sure. I mean, our hand is pretty balls. And they take Niv. Interesting. Although we do pull another. On a pumps. Please, that needs a red source. Well, that is a red source. And not exactly what I had in mind. Want to place Thought Seize. They take Omnath and pump the knight. Well, this is quite the predicament. The knight has toughness four, so we'll pass back. On Anise Munivolt, pumps will put us at two. And how do we deal with both of these? Ugh. Hound would buy us a turn. We'd have to chump. I guess we don't have much choice. Our opponent swift sends the hound. So we're going to game three. Opening hand, no white source. That's a problem. You have Dreadbore, though. But I think we got a mole. And yeah, this isn't terrible. We'll keep. On a thought seizes. Taking bring the light. Okay. Full Niv. Champion. Carry too cool. Pump plays knight. It's almost like they're baiting us, though. What? And they're attacking? Why? Why? There's no way they have pump. Yeah, those silly willies. Darn, no land. Should we just extinction, though? Yeah, I guess so. Hooray! I'm gonna place another. And another. And no land for us. Fine. Let's try and ramp with Risen Reef. That works. So next turn we have Niv. Upon will be swinging in. Soak up here. Upon plays spawn. Full land. And it's time for Niv. Hooray! Back to opponent. Oh, opponent kills Niv. We'll take the damage. And bring the light. Hooray! So here's what we'll do. Swing for one. And to be extra safe. Bring the light. And hour of devastation. Okay, okay, back to opponent. Oh, they thought seize. And place shade. That's pretty good. They can bring it back from graveyard. Let's first go Reef. Drawing Niv. Cool. Voice. Very very nice. And pass back. We are missing a land for utter end though, because both our white and our black are on this land. So that is a problem. In that case, we'll trade. Elements lenses. Clarion cool. And murder strider. So once again, risen reef. Double trigger. Ooh, not good. Kill. Swing for four. And back to opponent. All oh, opponent kills a token. Plays dread wanderer. And take a look at this. Omnath. So many triggers. Oh, they are drawing the same things. Okay. Could have been better. Swing for two. And back to opponent. One plays rankle. Forcing sack. But kill. Swing for five. Play carries it and pass. I do not see our opponent's gonna survive this. They bring back shade. Can't block though. Swing. And there is the match. Wasn't that fun? Now be on to the next match. Opening hand, not too bad, so we're gonna keep. And it looks like it's team of reclamation. This shall be interesting. One plays Uro and passes. Well, play on math. And back to opponent. Well, opponent plays reclamation. Then grow spiral. Interesting. Teferi, that good. We shall fetch. Making mana. Blank Teferi. Bounce. And then Niv. How 
wonderful. And I think we should be safe to swing in. So swing for four. Oh, I'm to turn this cycle. Reclamation. Oh, and they bounce Niv. So the fairy will go to Jesus. So let's try this. Voice. And we'll see if we can bait them. Swing for four. My blocks, okay. And I suppose just pass back. Oh, Shark Typhoon. I'm gonna be swinging. Might as well decay. Oh, and they hard cast it. That is an uh-oh stinky. Many decisions. But how about this? Bring the light. Opponent counters. We'll kill just to be safe. On a cycle. Slides another sensor. Opponent brings back Uro. Plays Brazen Borrower. Now safest option. Let's go Niv. Mystical dispute. Sure. How about we swing? They block two like that. Fine. Uro will be a problem, but let's take out this hoe now. Okay, back to opponent. Opponent grow spirals. Swings with Uro. He could just get it back, so we'll say no blocks. Another reclamation into land. Yikes. Let's try for Niv. Niv hits. Ooh, and another voice. Let's instead risk it and play Risen Reef. Opponent scries. Not a land. We'll be aggressive. Blocks like that. And it's back to opponent. Opponent swings. Blast on that pretty good. We'll say no blocks. Opponent scries. Plays another Uro for draw. This be very tricky. We'll blast on four and three. Very tricky indeed. Let's force it out of them. Voice. Oh, they didn't do it. Okay. Utter end. Cool. Let's swing like this. On it jumps like that. And strangely, they don't fire the blast zones. Let's give them a big FU and take out Sharknado. Opponent scries. Up to the blast zone. Swing. Sure. They scry. Cycle. Oh, and they deal 17 to us. Uh, uh, okay. So they take game one. Go one into game two. Let's bring in this for this and without. Let's go to game two. Opening hand is solid. We'll keep. Play voice. Oh, opponent shocks. We shall swing. We attempt Risen Reef. Think the fairy is safer. Opponent counters. Door spirals. And while they're tapped out, I'm not. Swing for five. What shall our opponent do? Reclamation. Let's do this. Bring the light. And what? Opponent bounces back to hand. Okay. Risen Reef. And swing for 11. And we're going to have to settle things in game three. Going in game three. Let's mix things up. Dumping this for this. And with that, let's go to game three. Opening hands. Fine. We'll keep. Land tapped. Rose spiral. Opponent passes back. We'll pass back. Opponent cycles the draw. And let's actually do this. Slaughter games. For Reclamation. Two arrows. Dispute and guard off. Opponent plays arrow. Dispute is a problem. So we'll play voice. And pass back. Ooh, opponent draws. We'll cycle. And to fair fair. That's pretty good. Let's instead do this. Omnath. Opponent tries to counter. We shall counter. Swing for two. Now let's try and push through here. Opponent brings back Uro. Exile. Opponent tries to counter. We'll counter. Swing for a lot. Land and pass back. Opponent plays that ho. Try to fairy. Opponent counters. But guess what? Bring the light. Niv. And then swing like this. Opponent trades. Gosh, for time will it so low. I'm so scared. What shall they do? Play Uro. They bounce a token. And come on. Risen Reef. To fairy. Plague to fairy. Oh, and there's the match. I was so scared about the time limit. It's just so hard to think about all the lands. And if you tap the wrong lands and jam yourself on the next card, it's like, ah. But all's well that ends well. So be on to the next match. Okay, so right after that match, we played another team of Reclamation deck. It was a similar match with a similar result, meaning that we won. So we're jumping to the next match with a 3-0 record. Opening hand, not gonna cut it, so we're gonna mull. Oh, this also very bad. But we'll keep. Oh, and it's mono black. Full Niv. And opponent be popping off. Oh, and they have thought seize. Taking our Niv. Another land. Meh. One plays that hoe. It gets buffed. And they'll go to another land. We draw voice. We get spanked for a lot. And spawn. Well, we're screwed. Play voice. And nope, our opponent's got us. We're going to game two. Going into game two. Let's dump this for this one without. Let's go to game two. Opening hand, not the best. Especially with the swamp here. Oh, we'll try it. I'll play that tap. Try him. Play Karyatid. And opponent plays Scrounger. Ooh, and Kunaros. Do we go that or Teferi? I think Kunaros is better. So we'll play it. Land and pass back. Opponent swings, sure. And then they play spawn. We have mana, so we'll swing. Then Omnath. Land and hooray. We looking very good now. Oh, but a thought sees. Oh, but our opponent concedes. Okay. Game three, no change to the sideboard. And ooh, land situation's not good. We need a white source and these would come to play tapped uh, we'll try it and hope for a land i guess nice a land okay okay i'll play scrounger we'll try and play it we get spanked for three they play spawn and we'll play the hound oh opponent plays rankle can't block discard and sack we could play omnath but they're still gonna deal seven to us in the air and make a sack yeah this is not good oh wait i, I missed math they can make us lose one life which means they can deal eight this turn so we're gonna have to take it to the next match so right after that match guess what we played mono black again this time we won giving us a 2-1 record against mono black and a 4-1 record over all. And so it's on to round six. Opening hand, two land heavy, so we're gonna mole. Eh, slightly better, we'll keep. Oh, and it's an aura deck. How interesting. I'll play season of growth. We'll play a land tap. Artushi. Dang, those work super well together. Drawing and scrying. Oh my gosh. Another one. It's not looking good, but we'll play Risen Reef. Land cool. And pass back. I'm gonna be swinging. We'll take it. Down the seven. They put Luris in hand. And now it's time for Omnath. Hooray. Play passage. Fetch. Escape. And this sure will be a close one. Pass back. On the pumps. Oh, and gives flying. That's an uh oh stinky. Yep, that's lethal. So we're going to game two. Going into game two. Let's dump this for this. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, not great. But I guess it's fine. We'll keep. I'm gonna be passing. We'll carry on. We'll just play the passage and pass. I'll play SRAM. We shall kill it. Hooray. I'm gonna be playing that hoe. Come on, land, please. Ugh, not the one we want. If we wipe here, he's given indestructible, so we'll pass. I'll play Cartouche. It's flying. Come on. All right. Play Niv. Oh, and so much good stuff. I'm gonna play SRAM. And then passes. Interesting. I have idea. Definite Clarion. They give indestructible. Oh, but I suppose we can't attack, though. Okay, in that case, Risen Reef. Meh. And pass back on a buff. And they'd be swinging if we just hit one land here. Well, that works. Nahiri. Exile. Teferi. <laughs> Bye. And there's a concede. So we're going to game three. Going in game three. Let's dump one of these for one of these. And with that, let's go to game three. Oh, an extinction event. Just like when 
Mama Queese when it passes. And things are looking very nice. Oh, no creatures yet. We'll carry to play it. And Hushbringer. Why they gotta be like that? Oh, nice Nahiri. So we have a couple of options. We could hold back and go Extinction Event, killing our Karyatid. Or we could just go Omnath and forfeit the card draw. And then go in with Nahiri. The problem with Extinction Event is that all these cards are even. It would hit our own dudes. You know, we'll just bite the bullet. Play Omnath. And at least we'll get the life gain. Another growth. It hits for two. Oh, and we get on day. We must be careful here. We don't really need the mana just yet. So here's what we'll do instead. Land, swing. Now here, even though they probably have Blessing, and try to take out Hushbringer. Yep, they have Blessing. That draws them two cards. I'll place Grist Boon. Sentinel's Eyes. Another Boon. Dang. That being uh oh stinky. Outside. Instead of mana, let's gain some life and try them. Well, do we a la Akbar? I suppose we probably should. Gain four. Extinction Event. Okie dokie. Back to our opponent. The only regret I have here is that we probably should have sacrificed Nahiri to take out one of their enchantments instead of trying to take out the creature. Another Hushbringer. We do hit Abrupt Decay. Might be a little late though. Plus, Loris could just bring it back. So let's we'll play Keratid and pass back. I'll play armor. Lock there. They put Loris in hand. Play this hoe. And dang, we just can't catch a break. I suppose we'll buy some time. Our devastation. Opponent tries to save the Hushbringer, but we'll kill. They play Luris, Hushbringer, and Sentinel's Eyes, and Vanguard. Man, cycle. It's a fairy, I guess. Bounce. And I'll go to your land. If I'd known this game would go this long, I would have left in the Hounds for Graveyard Hate. Man, so much card draw. And that is lethal. Yep. Even if Nahiri did take out one of their season of gross, I'm not sure we would have gotten it. It's just really hard to interact with them. Hello, big boys. Daddy from the future here. Overall, we went 4-2, which for a challenge tournament is pretty good. I must admit, I was a little bit disappointed losing to Green White Enchantments which isn't really an archetype in Pioneer. But lo and behold, Green White Enchantments actually won the whole tournament. Who would have thought? And I waited a full week to record this outro so that we can check the precision of this deck in a second challenge tournament. The second tournament's results were three wins and three losses. And this time we got a revenge against Auras. So 4-2 the first time, 3-3 the second time. It's pretty good considering this is about as competitive as it gets. But with these results, I don't think we can definitively say that our version of Niv Delight is better than traditional Niv Delight, even though I do feel like it is, especially with four voice, because with holding back all Niv decks is the prevalence of instant speed counter. But perhaps the best Niv Delight deck has yet to be discovered and more testing is needed. There is one card in particular that I have my eye on, and alongside Legendary Omnath, it would be pretty kinky. For that, more testing is needed, but for now, that is all. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more Pioneer content, and as always, I hope you have a great day.